Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the never combined taskbar icons or buttons in Windows 11 in the dev channel. I'm on the build 23451. And in this build, we can enable this hidden feature that is currently being worked on by Microsoft in Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, I need to give a huge shout out to Albacore, the creator of Vive Tool, and also the creator of Shell Frosting, which is a new way for you to experience unpolished shell bits early. So in Windows 11, there are hidden features that are slowly rolling out from Microsoft, and those can be enabled with only a command, but there are also features that are currently under development, such as the never combined taskbar icons or buttons, which is highly unstable, but a feature that can be enabled with a little tool like Shell Frosting that will put everything together, all the hidden bits and we'll be able to create the final result. What you need to know from the beginnings that this feature, as I've said, is highly unstable. So don't try this on a main computer. Even if you have the dev channel installed on it, try it on a virtual machine. Or if you want to try it on a main computer where you have the dev channel installed, please do this at your own risk because it is very unstable. As I've said in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm currently on my laptop, so I'm going to try that out and show you how that looks. For that, of course, we're going to have to download Shell Frosting that was created by Alba Core. As I've said, a huge thank you to Albacore. You're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below and the Shell Frosting download link in the article below in the video's description. And as you can see, all we need to do is to press the install button in the configuration tool and then tweak the available settings to have the wanted content. For this, we only need to download the x64 zip archive. And of course, make sure you extract it into a folder wherever you want. We're going to have two files in that archive, a DLL file and also the config, the frosting config that you can open up. And as you can see, it looks very, very simplistic. Basically, all you need to do is to click on the install button. Be aware that when you click on the install button, the explorer.exe process will restart and most likely it won't start back again. So for that, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to click on install. As you can see, configuring the extension requires a restart of file explorer. Do you wish to continue? Click on yes. It's going to try to restart our file explorer, but if it doesn't restart, press Control shift plus escape to open the task manager. Click on run new task, type in here explorer.exe and then click on OK. Now you can restart the frosting configuration tool. You're going to have to open up the task manager again because it can be a little bit buggy. So select it, click on end task and then open it back again. And it should say that right now it is installed. As you can see, it is installed. So that's very, very nice. And now we can start to play around with the settings. We have the taskbar buttons. We have three options that we will most likely have inside the taskbar settings of Windows. 11 when this will be available. We have always combine hide labels, combine when taskbar is full or never combine and also show labels on taskbar pins. So let's click on never combine and then click on apply. And this is how the never combine icons or buttons in Windows 11 will most likely look. As you can see, what I'm really liking about this is that they don't have the same size. They have a size depending on the name or the title of that certain app that you have currently opened. So as you can see, for example, the Google Chrome app has a larger button than the file explorer button which is basically inside the home section. And from here, you can also set up how the taskbar would look on multiple displays. You can click on show taskbar in all displays. And also you'll have here the same settings. I think this is really nice. You also have the option combine when taskbar is full. So basically what this will do when the taskbar is full, if I were to open multiple apps and the taskbar would get full, the taskbar will come back to this state. But in my opinion, I can't wait for the never combined taskbar icons to be a thing officially in Windows 11 because I was a big fan of this in Windows 10 and hopefully we will get this on Windows 11 as well soon enough. So as a conclusion, a big thank you again to Albacore. You're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below. And of course, the shell frosting tool will be as a download link in the article below in the video's description as always. And of course, you just need to download the zip file and follow the steps from this video in order to enable this. As you can see, it's also working on the Canary channel. But of course, you're going to have to always check these things and see where they work, where they don't work, builds and so on. As you can see, it currently doesn't work on the ZN release and also it only works on x64 on pre-release. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. I hope this was an interesting video for you. And if you did find this video interesting, make sure to follow Albacore from the pinned comment below and also leave a like and subscribe to the TechBase channel if you want to learn more about hidden features like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.